Hi, today we're going to be talking about how to calculate integrals, uh, whether it's definite or indefinite integrals. Uh, let's start off with a graph, actually. So I'm going to graph a function. Let's say it's the square root of x. Enter. And I want to calculate the area from 1 to, let's say, 4. Menu. Analyze graph. Integral asking where do you want to start the lower bound you actually want to type in the numbers on your keyboard over here let's type in one enter and where do you want to stop four enter so the calculator does two things it shades the area letting you visualize what, what you're actually calculating and then here's your answer if your calculator doesn't have this many decimal spots uh, make sure and look at my first video i think it's called 101 um, how to set up your calculator for the T, uh, for the AP calculus test. So the answer is 4.6 approximately. Let's go to the calculator. Control page. Calculator. So we can actually do an indefinite integral of the square root of x dx. Enter we can calculate the definite integral right here next to it and I think we did 1 to 4 square root of x dx and let's say I want the approximate answer control enter and there's that same value now let's pretend this function is a very very long complicated function I don't want to type it in again, especially if it's already on this screen here. So you can see f1, let's pretend that's the very complicated function. I should be able to recall that information. But once it's in your calculator, you really don't need to type it in again. Um, we want our students to be advanced in using their calculator. So the less data entry that you do, the better you're going to be at using your calculator. So I'm going to pull this up from 1 to 4 and now the function was called f1 and again I'll show you f1 so I in theory should just be able to type f1 of x let's see if this works it does if you remember the answer up here was 14 over 3 um, let's say I don't want to type f1 of x, so from 1 to 4, we have this var button, and there's my f1 of x, x, and that's it. So here we can calculate the integral either in graphing screen or on our graphing calculator and you can see there's multiple ways of doing this um, use one easy appropriate method depending on the screen that you're that you're currently using